happy tuesday welcome back well no not actually welcome back just hi how are you doing so i'm going to the dentist at eight o'clock um it's just nothing serious just like an annual um i've got two annual like cleans and checkups and one medical aid so i just want to make sure that i get one out of the way in the first half of the year and then after july i'll do another one if needs be and obviously if i can i will try and film it but i think we're just gonna do like a general clean like there's nothing wrong with my teeth i got my wisdoms removed last year yeah, I got my two bottom wisdoms removed last year, like towards the end of the year. And then that was pretty much it. Like I don't um really, like since I had braces when I was like in grade nine, I haven't really struggled with my teeth much since then. Um, I'm very, very grateful. Fingers crossed I don't struggle with anything. Like I do love taking care of my teeth. Even though I do think they need a bit of a white and although I am drinking coffee, so let's not go there. And yeah, so I'm doing that at 8.30 and then I really would like to film a makeup tutorial today, but I don't know if I should put makeup on yet. But I feel like I'm just going to do it. After the dentist, I'm going to gym, so I'm going to gym and then come home. But I really want to film a makeup tutorial. Surely I can. Like my eyes, like so far, they like seem fine. Like they're a lot smoother. There's like a one little mini dry patch here, but it's not big at all. This eye is completely feeling healed. There's just like a bit of a dry patch under here and on here. But this was my worst eye to begin with. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna go in now. I hope I can record. Surely you can. I've seen so many people record their dentist appointments. Watch though, people on J-Bay, they just come with these stupid fucking laws where they're like, no, you actually are not allowed to record patients. Is that true? Is it not true? Because the last chiropractor that I went to was like, no, you're not allowed to film. It's against the law. I'll get a letter from a lawyer and, you know, like whatever crap was going on. I don't believe it. You really think if South Africans can't even, if the South African government can't even keep up with giving out fines, um... For speeding. You really think they're gonna give a shit about a video on Instagram of someone clicking your back? No. Anyways, let me go in now. Hey guys, so um I have been a really shitty vlogger today, but that is just normal. So hi. <laughs> Anyways, so I have not done much today, but that is okay. I've decided, I think I mentioned this before, but I am definitely this year gonna stop making myself believe that i'm working like this is gonna sound like weird but like working so hard but then i actually get nothing done in a day i don't know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say but um instead of like thinking every single day i have to work on like my job especially if i obviously if i have campaigns like yes of course um but if i don't have like any campaigns to currently work on and like say stuff is in the pipeline for like approval and all of that like i'm gonna take time out and just have like some chill days because last year towards the end of the year i really just burnt myself out so much i was just so over it i didn't want to be on instagram like i just was not vibing it but anyways um i wanted to show you guys what i got made so blaze and i we actually purchased a um second hand it's like a pool table a ping pong table and a dining room table like all in one which is absolutely amazing like we have wanted one of those for the longest time because we love entertaining like we if there's a house party it's most likely at our house like that is just how we are um we just enjoy like hosting people having people over and just entertaining so yeah we recently found like a really good special like in the like estate that we live in someone was selling it and we were like oh my gosh we can't like sleep on this opportunity it is currently a very ugly color it's like this dark red wood but we are gonna paint it to obviously suit our outside area. And then I got this like dark gray kind of outdoor cover because it's gonna go out there, like in that area. So we actually used to have a table there, but then we chopped it in half to make a workbench in the garage. And then the other half of it is actually that like little coffee seated overlook area over there. But yeah, I got this made because it's going to be outside. It's a slate pool table, so it's of really good quality that we got a really good deal on. And we don't want it to get damaged outside. 
long-term solution currently the felt on the pool table is green but i would really like to make it black obviously me being bougie i want the white and black aesthetic for my pool table which is completely understandable and it's not an expensive thing to do but i'm just not going to do it now um until the green felt obviously goes funny because as time goes along the felt kind of goes um like fuzzy and then you can either choose to shave it back or change it and i will most likely change it to black because i just love a black and white pool table it's unmatched for me but yeah i got this um pool table cover made to its specific um dimension so that it fits it like a glove i'm hoping it fits like i measured the table so i mean it has to fit like you know but yeah i'm so excited to obviously put this on and have the table out there also another thing I am still waiting for bull denim in white fabric, you know, bull denim fabric in white to come in stock. It's been out of stock since like last year, November, and I'm still waiting. Like there's like a shortage in the country, it seems, because I so badly want to recover these chairs. I hate them so much. I just hate this, I don't know, like this Paris Mission Redhute fucking shit that's on ya. It's just not for me. Um, I would love them to be white because then it will suit with this white, milky white, light wood varnish thing. But yeah, anyways. One thing I love about the pool table that we purchased, it has like the same kind of legs like this, which I love so much. And um, I think it's just going to like tie really well together. Sorry, it's actually four in one. So wait, let me go again. Pool. Ping pong beer pong and a dining room table like can you want any more as people that entertain you can't there's a, oh, and we got a dartboard so we are literally set up for the biggest house jewel of the century i'm gonna quickly go get my tripod but while i'm getting my tripod i'm gonna let you know that we are making lunch together and i'm gonna make myself a tuna salad guys i know you're like eh, tuna salad but i freaking love tuna salad tuna salad is like my shit like, if there's one meal that I'll eat over and over again, it's tuna salad. I don't know why, what it is, what it is about, but I think I just make it really fucking good. I love tuna salad. So I'm quickly just going to show you guys all my ingredients. So I've got cherry tomatoes, cucumber, iceberg lettuce. I prefer using iceberg lettuce just because if I buy two different types of lettuces, lettuces, <laughs> I won't obviously finish them throughout the course of a week and it will just go off. So... I find iceberg lettuce the most versatile so I can make it, I can use it to make like carbless wraps, I can use it to make like so many different things so I prefer to like opt for iceberg lettuce. I've got gherkins, I've got avo, I've got fat free smooth cottage cheese, I've got my tuna, I've got my chili sauce and I'm snacking on some watermelon. guys this is obviously what an average lunch looks like for me oh by the way i just added some feta on top completely forgot about the feta um yeah just a wholesome tuna salad with very basic ingredients that most of us have in our fridges all the time well i don't know about you guys but these are staples in our fridge and it's delicious how big is this bowl just saying and i get eat all of it and i'm gonna enjoy it every last bite of it so yes guys i will see you guys in a little bit um i'm gonna make chicken tacos tonight for dinner and um you know just some good old chicken tacos I haven't had those in ages again blaze finally doesn't have to study thank the lord jesus for that one 
Let's hope you passed. <laughs> Anyways, guys. See you now. now. Morning, guys. So, Jack, can you stop walking down the stairs so loudly? Anyways, so it is like super early still. Not really super early, but it's like eight o'clock. <laughs> I haven't gone to gym yet. I've been going later just because I feel like more energized. So, keep it on a tripod. So, I've been going um, later to gym now just because. I just feel a lot more energized um, later on in the morning um, and I don't really want to take pre-workout and stuff if I don't have to. So I haven't been having coffee either. I have one cup of coffee a day and it's usually about midday. And I've been sticking to my tea lately. I still love coffee, don't get me wrong. I'm super um, upset that I don't have more coffee like I used to, but I do feel a hell of a lot better and I don't feel so reliant on it. Because, um, yeah, coffee isn't actually the best thing for you, but it's just delicious. So, anyway. And then, another thing. I saw a video on, was it TikTok or was it Instagram? I don't know. Either way. It was a hack on how to wash your beauty blenders. So, these are my lovely, dirty beauty blenders. And it basically was putting them in a bowl, getting yourself some Oxy Wash. So, you can use Vanish the Mr. Sheen one, any one you want to, and you put boiling hot water in it because obviously that cleaning detergent activates with hot water, it activates the enzymes, and then you'll just see it like bubbling, and then the makeup will just like, if you squeeze it out, it, there will be no more makeup in here. So let's try that because I want to film later, so I want clean beauty blender. maybe just a better kind of over there <laughs> anyways so it's busy bubbling now and hopefully by the time I get back from gym these will have look how it's bubbling guys can you see that hopefully they will be clean look at the makeup coming out no ways look at that I'm gonna give it a young stir. So, hey guys. Um, I just finished gym. I'm sorry I didn't film anything today. I just wasn't in the mood. Like, I was 
I just started my period this morning, so I just was not in the mood at all um, to even go to gym, so let alone film anything. That was just going to be something else, but I did do a really great session. Um, my ass was on fire, literally. <laughs> but yeah, I did a I did a young booty day, squats, RDLs, fucking deadlifts, fucking the whole shoot, okay. But I went grocery shopping afterwards and I also got dog food, just in the garage. But I just wanted to show you like typically what I'm currently buying. Um that just keeps me going. So um obviously standard in this household, almond milk, Blaze drinks dairy, but I don't do dairy. It just does not agree with me. We've got peppers, mushies, cabbage. Um, then I've just got a whole bunch of like chopped tomatoes. Uh, we go through these like crazy. I make a lot of like mince with rice, mince with pasta, mince with, you know, like that kind of thing. Because we have a lot of mince. Um, I think I've mentioned before in the vlog, I don't know if I have or if I haven't, but Blaze goes hunting and we literally he goes hunting like once or twice a year and then we don't buy any meat from the shops like ever we buy chicken but very occasionally because we mainly eat um game but yeah then i've got sweet potato some avocados i hope those are good because it's my first time steering away from willy so those better be good um i've got some 12 month mature cheddar because it's got the strongest flavor more of these there's just cans in there and then i saw this i just wanted to try it i can't imagine that it's super healthy for you but it's this nougat nuggets sugar-free banting friendly high protein almond and cranberry um nougat from macro mixes i saw it and i was like okay I've, i saw this on instagram but i never saw it in the stores and it's actually like a Jeffrey's Bay store like first of all what the actual book um but I just wanted to try them and then maybe like as a treat like one a day we'll see um standard in this household coffee and then you'll see a lot of chips here but this is because of Blaze like I buy myself my snacks I buy myself the 50 gram or 28 grams small bags of chips Next thing I know, Blaze has eaten all of them. So I don't have any snacks when I want my snacks, you know. So yesterday I had like obviously cravings because I started my period this morning and I ate a packet of chips and I was like, hmm, I would have loved the other flavor that I had, but no, I had to have this flavor. So I got these are treats. They're super low in calories and they are delicious. Um, and it's not something you eat, eat, eat every day. It's just something you eat occasionally when you're like super less for like chips or something. So I got white cheddar because I feel like it's the best flavor. Then I wanted to try this kettle crunch. So mine are the small ones because then I, it's already like portioned out for me. But like, then I got sea salt. But as I wanted to say is... Um, if Blaze decides like he's gonna open up the bag while lying in bed, which is what he does to me, um, then you know it doesn't hurt if I have one or two because they've got a lot of flavor in them. Then again, this is that macro mixes stuff. It's not focusing. Is it focusing? Is it focusing? Yeah, it's focusing. <laughs> okay, anyways, our camera's really far away. But this is a vanilla choc chip muffin with 12 grams of protein ready in 60 seconds all you have to do is add your choice of milk or water and for the 50 gram serving where's my phone so for this entire container if you make it just this one serving size it's only one 180 calories which is not bad and okay the sugar is a tad high and the carbs aren't exactly great but and the fat is also quite high <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay um it's also something that you'll have as a treat and not every single day if you know what i'm trying to say um and then i also got myself more corn thins i wanted to try the cheese flavor i'm a massive fan of sour cream and chives and then obviously plain but i had a whole bag of these i only had two and then blaze ate the rest so <laughs> yeah that's my life fat free cottage cheese i want to make myself some rice paper rolls and then I just got some chicken. But yeah, guys, that is like a grocery haul. And then usually there will be more stuff in here. But I went grocery shopping the other day and I completely forgot about 
these things and then other things Blaze just consumed and I had to go get restocked on. So guys, I've just been busy editing my weekly vlog from last week and I am about to go make myself lunch. I'm also filming a what I eat in the day today, so um, I'm not going to include that in this vlog, but there will be a separate video. Either before or after this vlog, I'm not sure yet, but oh, you'll, you'll eventually see them both. But anyways, I'm going to go make myself some food now. I'm starving and then I've got an appointment at three o'clock but I have heard that this chick often runs extremely late so I just need to phone and double check that she's on time because I'm not rushing somewhere and then you know also yesterday I showed you a pool table cover well like a dining room entertainment kind of cover that I showed you we also got one made for the dartboard outside and it's also ready to be fetched so I'm really excited about that I'm gonna go fetch it on my way to she's like a doctor but like not a I don't know how to explain it. As I said, I'm going for like a body analysis, but she is also a doctor, but I'm only doing like the body analysis stuff with her. So guys, this is what my sponges are looking like after leaving them like the whole day. So I'm gonna add some hot water and then we're gonna like try and squeeze them and clean them. Let's see how clean they come like just by squeezing it. Okay, the moment of truth. Oh my gosh, no ways. It's like all the makeup just coming out of there. I might need a cleaner bowl to like do this. You are literally like my little shadow. Every two seconds you just pop up out of nowhere. Hey. So guys, I went to gym today and I just wasn't feeling it at all. So I just, I did like, I did like six different exercises and I did them like very half-assed and then I left. I just was not vibing. But I'm at Sam now. I'm getting my nails done because these are atrocious. And I am also um, getting, what else? I'm doing a lash lift, I think. And I was supposed to do a bikini wax, but as I mentioned, um... The bitch came knocking on my door and she decided to flow. So we are flowing. The bikini wax is off the tables. Um, off the tables, off the table. And then I'm doing my, I don't think we need to do my toes, but I think we're just going to give them a quick fill. Um, I booked like a whole bunch of things so that I can get all like my beauty treatments out of the way for a while. And then I also got us coffee. So I'm drinking an almond cap and I got Sam a cafe breathe. And I went to Builders as well because we've been told <laughs> the estate that we live in has such strict rules and like the aesthetics of your house. And when we redid our bathroom, they like kind of messed up the outside of our house. So I have to go get samples now for colors to paint the outside um, because we are being told we have to <laughs> repaint, we have to redo our gutters and we also have to sort out the garden. The garden I'm all for because it's so cluttered and the painting I've been waiting for an excuse. So I'm not too mad about it. But yeah, let me go inside because I am perfectly on time for my appointment. I don't even know how I made it in time. Especially with running all the extra errands and still like taking in my time and dawdling. So yeah, let me go inside. Anyways, girls and boys, I currently look like a boy. Um, I have recently started again with my at-home laser hair removal. And I'm about to do my second session of the week. Um, I actually already noticed like a major difference from the first session. I did it on Sunday, I think. Today is Thursday. And I can literally already see like a major difference in like the decrease in hair growth. So um i can already see a difference within one session 
And that is crazy because I was on Prosana for the longest time to obviously grow my hair. And now that I'm like happy with my hair length, I'm not really taking supplements anymore. I'm just letting it grow naturally. And it still kind of grows like really quickly. Um, I went for my hair in December and it's already grown out so much already. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm doing my second session for the week. I usually have to shave my armpits, believe it or not, literally like every second day. Sometimes every day, it depends on if I've got the time, but most of the time it's every second day. And by the time it's day two, it's like thick, black and long. And today there was actually not so much to shave. So you shave beforehand and then you turn this on. It's got different um, intensities. I use it on the highest one just because I want the quickest results. Um, and then you just like zap away. It's recommended to obviously close your eyes because it's quite a sharp lot. So I use it on the strongest setting. And then what I usually do is I go over the section twice. It is a little bit like, like warm and like an elastic band feeling when you use it on such a intense setting. I promise you. Oh, that one is quite sore. I've already noticed a difference. So, like, that's literally as quick as what it is. It was like 30 seconds. The only thing with an at home laser device is that the issue is you get so used to the convenience of just being able to do it in the comfort of your own home, you're not as consistent with it as you would be with an appointment. So, that's the one thing I always say to people when they're like, when they ask me, does it really work? Like, Yes, it works, but the thing is, you have to be consistent with it like you would with any session that you would be paying for. So, as long as you set a date with yourself every week, twice a week with this one, I use the My Smooth Skin. Um, I don't have a discount code anymore, but if I am able to wangle a few strings here and there, the discount code will be on the screen. If not, no discount code. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, I really believe in this. I just have been terrible at consistency with it but now that i'm not taking any hair growth stuff i'm definitely going to ow that was sore sorry promise you it's not that sore i just went over the same spot like three times that one was also quite sore i think i went over that spot like a good few times so that is it like literally like a minute and then i've done my armpits and i just leave it here nowadays i used to pack it away but now i'm leaving it in my view so that i can see it so that i can actually be consistent with it i'm listening to for my video but at the same time i'm also not like so torn i'm not in the mood to work like this week i don't know why i've just been so not list to work i do need to send off invoices and update invoices for makeup clients for some weddings this year just so that everyone can start paying their deposits so that we can confirm the bookings but other than that, like, I don't have to work because I don't have any, like, major campaigns yet. And a lot of my other stuff is still in the pipeline for approvals. So, do I do it? Do I not do it? Do I work tomorrow? Do I work today? <gasps> oh my gosh, maybe I should just send invoices and edit this vlog. Okay, no, let's... We'll figure that one out, but I need to go eat. I, it's literally like almost two o'clock and I haven't eaten yet, guys. I went for my nails and I had a coffee from Seattle and that is about it. Like, it's terrible, but I'm actually not super hungry today. I think it's because I didn't really gym hard today. I was not in the mood for gym. I literally, I walked in there, I did six exercises, as I said, and then I was like, fuck the shit, I'm out. Um, so... Yeah, maybe I won't work today, maybe I won't, who knows? <laughs> you guys, so I just got the most beautiful delivery. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. I have to share it with you guys. Um, you're gonna die. I was so obsessed when I saw it. So this is what they look like, guys. This is from an Instagram store. It's at by Tamarin. I'll put it on the screen for you guys to see. You can head over there if you guys are interested. But how, like this is the size of my hand. I don't have big hands. But how beautiful is this candle? And guys, they smell absolutely amazing. Like the smell is unmatched. Like look at that. I just knocked this one by the way. I knocked them all <laughs> within like a few seconds of getting them like I almost dropped them and broke them but anyways I didn't and this is the one and then this is the other one so this is like a Louis Vuitton inspired bag candle and it's so big look at this like that's my hand and that is the candle like it's gonna look amazing on my shelf over there guys these are like so beautiful 
so beautiful and then look at this one i think this one is actually my favorite it's the most delicate beautiful like curved gauze 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 i don't even think i need to explain it so so beautiful can you even deal because i can't and i also do have a discount code for you guys it's sailor 10 for 10 percent off and these are the most beautiful candles ever like ever ever i'm gonna put one maybe over there i've got this current one actually burning and it smells delicious it makes this house smell like caramel okay so i just made this like i showed you guys and See, this is my thing like i'm so picky with flavors and if something doesn't taste nice i'd rather not eat it you know what i'm trying to say like that's why i usually steer away from like oh make this low calorie this or low calorie that because it doesn't taste nice it doesn't taste like anything like it's not going to satisfy any craving that i've got if you know what i'm trying to say like i'm just busy picking out the chocolate bits because the chocolate's nice but the actual base is highly average i'm not a fan but hell no not for me. 10 out of 10 wouldn't recommend. If you actually have a sweet tooth and you want to eat something nice. No. Hey guys. So I actually just want to quickly show you guys. Like just a little bit of an inside scoop on like eating healthy and stuff. Like it's not that hard to eat healthy. Um, like for example last night I made a roast chicken. And um, I just did a side of rice and veg. Like the rice was the carbs. And... Today I'm having the exact same for lunch and I mean I've got chicken, I've got rice, I've got obviously less rice than everything else and then I've got all the veg on my plate. Like it's colourful, it's got some gravy but the gravy is basically just chicken stock and what I do when I cook a roast chicken, sorry guys I'm so out of breath, <laughs> when I cook a roast chicken I put water and chicken stock, I let the chicken like rest in stock so that all the juices from the chicken also go into the um, stock that I already put in the chicken stock and I also add lemon juice to that water and then as soon as I take it out I empty that like the bottom of the chicken tray into a pan and I add the tiniest bit of like brown onion soup just to like thicken it up a little bit you can also add literally just some mazina whatever you prefer but I just like I love brown onion soup like it's always been a thing since I grew up like my mom with brown onion soup was just always her thing so now it's just my thing and yeah so it's just it's not unhealthy at all it's literally just some brown onion soup stock lemon juice and then the juices from the chicken i don't eat the chicken skin i do leave that off my plate i love chicken skin but i do um have to let that one go but it's not even a major thing to let go and then i just roast it all up and i also cook the carrots in the chicken stock so i've got carrots and broccoli and cauliflower I cook the, ch the carrots, I peel them and I chop them and I put them in the stock while cooking the chicken so they get all of that flavor into the carrots and they're not like boring old carrots. So yeah, maybe I'm going to show you guys sometimes how I make my roast chicken. I freaking love it. I use that Portuguese Robertson spice and it's just it. <clears throat> so I need to quickly eat this and then I need to rush off to the pharmacy because I completely forgot to get my new pill. And um, yeah, I don't think I need to say more about that. So, <laughs> I need to go get my pool. I don't even know what time this pharmacy closes. <sighs> five. Yeah, they close at five. Okay. So, I've actually got time. And I also just need to pop to spa to get some potatoes. Because I thought I had potatoes. We're having a bright night, by the way, with some friends. And we're also getting our pool table slash ping pong slash beer pong slash dinner table today. So, we're having friends over to celebrate, obviously. And then we are needing to obviously like supply some food. Everyone brings their own meat, but then I usually do the sides. So yeah, anyways, guys, let me eat this, get my pull, go to spa, get some potatoes, and then I'll call it a day. So get up on your feet and get on down. Wait a little, little.